Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day and today we're doing a new makeup review. Today we're testing out, doing a first impressions of the new Kaleidos Makeup Night of Creation collection. I have the graphic uh, liquid eyeliners here as well as both palettes from the collection. This collection is really pretty. It's kind of a smoky and kind of out of my color scheme because I usually don't wear purples. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to test this collection out and give my first thoughts on it and let you know what I'm feeling. We're going to try it out together. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. And one last disclaimer, if you are into spooky things or cute things, I have a mixture of both, especially since Halloween's coming up. I do my own small business. That's where these anatomical heart earrings are from. It's theopencrypt.com. Cool? We good? You heard my little woo promotion? Okay, cool. Let's move on. Also, you may notice that I kind of uh, purpleified the half, the lower half of my blonde piece. This looks pretty in blonde. This turned purple kind of blue up close um, because I washed it with purple shampoo thinking, oh, I'm just going to get rid of all the green tones and then this happens. So I'm going to do something to even it out. Maybe I'll record it. Maybe like dye the top gray and see if it'll mix in. Don't know, but that will be fixed soon. But today I just want to test out this palette and everything. So let's talk about everything we have to work with today before we get started testing it. So the first quad I have is Flowing Haze. It kind of looks like a uterus up here. Um, and it has Kaleidos in the middle. And then here is this one this one's definitely the more smoky one this one's more my wheelhouse because it's kind of a, cr a grayish purple i'm not used to bright purples this one makes a lot of sense to me for like my everyday wear this one's a little bit out of my comfort zone so i think it's the one we're going to test out today this quad is called glowing iris i like went like this to check the name on the back and the pan fell out my hand that needs to be glued in there is it magnetic no this needs to be, it's not glued in. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you very carefully. This is the other quad here. A more indigo-y, purple-y situation. I gotta glue that shade in, but this palette is the one we're using today because it's not in my wheelhouse. After that, we have a whole bunch of fun liquid eyeliners. I'm gonna go ahead and open all these out of the box and we'll swatch them. Now, normally for a collection like this, I wouldn't swatch all of the different liquid eyeliner colors because then it prevents me from passing them along as someone who used them more because I know I'm not going to use all eyeliner colors. However, I am going to swatch all these today and I'm going to try, once my hair is to a normal blonde over here, I'm going to try to do more fun, colorful, or experimental looks with different eyeliners and stuff. I've been wanting to do it for the last like six months or so. I just haven't because I've been really busy. But what I want to do is kind of focus on different things. Usually I see something like a really creative eyeliner on like TikTok or Instagram and I'm like oh that looks so beautiful but I'm scared to do it myself because I think I'm gonna mess it up <laughs> and then as a YouTuber if your face is messed up you know filming doesn't really work <laughs> so I'm just gonna try it and go for it so we're gonna swatch all these eyeliners so this first one is a green uh oh I can't it's hard to read this seven c's is this first one let's ooh ooh I thought these were liquid they're not ooh Look, it's green, it's blue, purple. Ooh, I thought these were liquids. They're not liquids, they're pencils. They're creamy crayony pencils. These are gonna be fun. Okay, this next one is called Solaris, Sol Solaris. Oh my gosh, I don't know why I thought these were liquid eyeliners. So this one's red and you can see this way it turns kind of green. These are fun. Would I use all these though? I don't know. These are something I feel like I'd have to swatch to actually know which color it's going to be. Especially my waterline. This next one is called a Sea Sparkle. This one looks like a silver blue. Oh, wow, they're so metallic. I love this. This is fun. These are pretty. Can I use these to draw shapes on my eyes though? I don't know. They're kind of a thick pencil. This next one is Limelight. I feel like by thinking these were liquid liners, I was super unprepared for this video. But I wanted to give a real first impression. There's a, this one just kind of stays green, very metallic green. I like that. I like the green ones. This next shade is called Tourmaline. This font is so tiny on here. This one looks like more of a red. So this is this one, kind of a red. Oh, there it turns green. Red, purpley, green situation. I love the duo uh, chrome shift things. This one's called Night of Creation, which is the name of the collection. 
So let's give her the biggest swatch. And of course this is the purple, but if we see in different lights, it turns kind of red. So I'm excited. I'm gonna keep this one out. I think this might go on our waterline today. <sighs> These are really pretty. They're so metallic and pretty. I wonder though if I, you know, cause I want to experiment with new eyeliner shapes, if I'd be able to use these to draw a shape on or not. I'm not entirely sure, but let's get started with the eyeshadow. Firstly, I'm gonna prime my eyelids with a little bit of Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base and Fair, just to give us the best chance of some good pigmentation from these eyeshadows today. Kaleidos has really good quality, um, so let's hope it's consistent in this collection as well. And I think what the eye look we're gonna do is just gonna be a halo eye. It's only a quad, there's only four shades in here, so I think I'm gonna like dark, dark, center vibrant all right so the first shade i want to dip into is this one right here this is the one that's falling out on me i just want to take this on a blending brush this one's a new alice in wonderland double one that came with the new sigma palette i tested out because i thought it was it matched the holographic theme and i'm going to put this really high up all over my crease we'll deepen up underneath and everything i just want to start off with this as the lightest shade though it does look darker this is the shade, it looks darker on the eyes. It blends nicely, I just feel like the color is kind of inaccurate, especially since I am decently fair, like I've gotten a lot of a tan lately, I feel like. Um, but I am decently fair for this not to show up. Very pale, I guess? It's a bit, eh. I mean, it's fine, I could have put on a white eyelid base, but I didn't think it needed it, but it's gonna look fine in the end. So here's the shade, blends nicely. I'm now gonna go into this shade. Because it's a quad and it only has like the name of the palette on the back. I don't know the names of the shades. I'm going to tap off my excess and I'm going to start packing this on the outer and inner portion of the eye. You can also use the flat side to pack this on. But these are really pigmented so I feel like the blending brush will do a fine job of packing too. And I'm going to leave the center of my eye empty so we can put up really pretty shimmer there's only one shimmer in this palette so it limit my options but it'll be fun also this color is lovely the color is very pretty this looks funky because the center of my eyelid is all patchy and stuff but it's gonna be fine i'm gonna take the flat side now go into the darker shade in the palette that we haven't used yet and just add on to the sides i'm not gonna blend this up i'm just gonna put this on my actual lid to make sure this is nice and deep. That way when I put that center highlight, we have a good contrast, but I didn't want my crease too dark. Also, I don't know the last time I wore a purple eyeshadow. Like if I wear a purple eyeshadow, it's kind of a gray, like a grayish, like a gray purple situation. So it doesn't look like purple, which I don't know why. It's not like I think purple eyeshadow looks bad on me. It's just like not my thing, I guess. Also because I think Majority of my adult life have had purple hair. So why double do it, you know? Even when I don't have purple hair like now though, I'm like, mm, purple eyeshadow, is that me? I don't feel like that's me. But it should be me, right? Like it makes sense. It's a really pretty color and it looks lovely on everyone else. Why I avoid it is just weird. So I'm gonna go into that blending brush now again with no product on it. Blend a little bit. And now let's get ready for that shimmer. I'm gonna take that same eyelid primer, taking a little bit of my fingernail so I don't get too much product, and I'm just gonna tap it in the center of my lid for a highlight, and we're gonna just blend it out. Going on with a little flat brush now, I'm gonna go into that shimmery shade. You can also apply with your finger too because it's gonna be kind of a messy, blown out look. And I'm just gonna apply this right on top of that, just for that little bit of shimmery sparkle in the middle. I wasn't sure what kind of color this would come out to be on the eyes, but it looks very accurate to what it is in the pan. I wish there was one other shimmer though. I like to do shimmers on the other side of the lid as well, like both sides that are dark. Um, but we just have this one pop and highlight shade, so that's fine. Blurring out my edges a little bit to make it not as harsh, but I still want that highlight in the center. I'm going to now take that shader side we used, so the very darkest shade, go into this middle shade we used, and shade my lower lash line to make it purpley. 
already I think this looks really good so let's just do the rest of my eye look and then we'll test out the waterline situation with these pencils so I'm gonna take the epic wear uh, NYX white liquid liner I do this every time you guys already know if you've been here before you know my eye routine I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner with this I know it's not for everybody because it's just dark like white paint under your eyes but I like the highlight I will say though if you haven't done this before and you're thinking about doing the white highlight in the inner corner it is the hardest thing to remove at the end of the day like sometimes I'll just I'll scrub my whole makeup off with a makeup wipe and then I'll wash my face in the sink and really try to get in there and there'll be like a little tiny bit right in the innermost corner of my eyes that just has that white like paint on it and it doesn't come off and I just don't even care anymore because it'll be gone by morning you know you can scrub your face off a million times really try to get in there sometimes it just sticks which should be a good thing so it's long lasting but sometimes it's annoying too <laughs> for my liquid eyeshadow I'm gonna take frozen heart from Sistar cosmetics I'm just gonna put this a little take a little bit of it right where that white stops Just a tiny amount just to make myself a little bit sparkly under there and now i'm going to do mascara for mascara today i'm just using the lash princess false lash effect from essence i have tried all the false lash effects and a lot of the regular mascaras from essence get the green one this one is so superior to any other ones some people say they try the lash princess mascaras and don't like them the green one is superior by far so just keep that in mind in case you haven't tried this green one before. And also $4.99. Not sponsored. I just like a deal. Alright, so I added black lipstick and lashes. Obviously, I didn't know what other lipstick to do. I have some purples. But I didn't want to conflict with the eyes. So I just figured I would do black. Even though I don't feel like... I don't like talking and seeing my teeth when I have black lipstick on. But like this. It looks really good. <laughs> So anyways, let's do the Night of Creation namesake eyeliner in my waterline and see what happens. I'm a little nervous that it's not going to show up. So we're going to do, I'll do this eye and then we'll see if we can tell the difference. Because I don't know. Like it's definitely pigmented and purple in my waterline now, very metallic. I don't know if it's going to be noticeably duochrome-y like it's supposed to be. As I'm applying it, I can definitely see the blue purple shift in here. Okay, so I kind of rubbed it into my lashes as well to try to get the uh, full effect here. We can tell it's purple. I cannot tell you that it's duo chromey. Like if I lift my eyelid down, I can see the metallic -y shine like right here. Um, but it just looks purple in my waterline. I don't know. Again, maybe if I use this to like create a cool highlighter moment although it wouldn't be very crispy since it is kind of like a thick pencil I don't know all right so here is my finished look I look came out very pretty smoky purple that little bit of highlight really popping in the center there the lower lash line cute purple I cannot tell you that this stuff in my waterline is duochrome it doesn't look that way like if I even if I look at it like this I can tell it's metallic Look at normal, it just looks like a flat eyeliner. It, it's kind of hard to get that shift. Maybe if we tried a different color, we could tell. But even then, I feel like it would be the right angle to, and then looking directly in someone's waterline to tell that it's a shift kind of thing. Um, but overall, I think they performed really nicely, swatched out. They look really cute. And also, I just like the idea of it in the waterline. I think it's kind of fun. And again, you could draw something with it, even though it wouldn't be crispy because it is a thicker pencil situation but I digress the eyeshadow came out lovely I actually really like both color schemes the palette this is not my normal color scheme like I said but I think it came out really pretty um and also I hate applying liquid lipstick with these little things because I have a Jeffrey Weirdo liquid lipstick which is what is this is right but his freaking wand is so many fuzzies on it I can't get a crisp line and with the black lipstick you need a crisp line but I hate using these little disposable things but it's better than the wand he has in this thing so anyways thank you guys so much for joining me for today's first impressions review video eyeshadow lovely really a star of the show eyeliners they look pretty swatched but you can't really tell in the eyes unless you do something else with it so thank you guys so much i hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video have a lovely day bye guys